I'm more, if I'm being totally honest, I'm more kind of worried for the cyclist. It is completely flooded. There we go. Oh, shit. Uh, well. Welcome back, everybody, to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Today, we're out in the Model X, which is our Hardware 2 car. So this is still running Autopilot 2.0 as well. And we're going to take it through to Hereford, and we're going to look at some of the floods around Hereford and maybe drive this through the city centre as well. To be totally honest, I've actually been waiting for Tesla to get back in touch with me after the um, Chamonix Model 3 emergency trip I did. Tesla still haven't got in touch. It's been like way over a week now, so I don't really know whether they're going to get back to me or whether they're not going to get back to me at all, but uh, I'll keep you updated. But so far, Tesla have not got back to me at all. Okay, so we've had Storm Dennis here in Herefordshire, and it has battered us. Like seriously, so many houses have gone underwater, there's been so much damage, and pretty much all the roads have been shut off in and out of Hereford um, this past weekend, past few days. So we're going to go through, see how it looks today. Today it should have cleared, the majority of it should have cleared, but I'm hoping there's still some roads that we can go down with some water on them. So far I've seen probably about four or five cars completely die on the edge of the roads that have tried to go through the floods. We have gone through some pretty big floods in the Model X and it hasn't seemed to cause any issues uh, and it's actually done them really, really well. So hopefully I'll be able to show you some of that today. But as you can see, all these roads are now are quite clear, whereas previously, yesterday, the, this was just covered in water. Like both sides of the roads were completely covered in water. You know, trees have been knocked down, all of that kind of stuff. So it has been pretty crazy. Wow, this was completely underwater like this was a good two I think about two foot underwater down here or maybe even a little bit higher uh, just yesterday so this really has cleaned up overnight we're gonna take a right at this roundabout and again this road on the right was completely flooded yesterday so I'm intrigued to see if it is completely flooded or if it's actually cleared up now Model X did that all very, very well. Okay, so we need to go right here. Ah, the road's still closed. That road is still closed that I need to go down. Let me just look, look, can I see, can you see down there? I need to go down that road, but you can see it's completely flooded still. And there's a car actually stuck on it. So we're gonna go all the way around and we're gonna go around the back road instead. Nice and confident. Oh, hard break there. I was kind of surprised with how confidently that went past that lorry, to be honest, because it looked quite a tight gap. So that was quite surprising. I'll bring the speed down. And as we come up to these lights, we should tuck up behind this Fiat. Now again, it's never been able to do this bridge, but I'm hoping we might be able to do it today. I'm gonna to keep it down to 15 miles an hour. There's no one behind us. And I'm just gonna see how the car deals with this. Is it gonna be able to do it now? Look at that, at 15 miles an hour, that is the first time it's been able to do that bridge, but it's just done it successfully. That is really, really something. That's never been able to do that before. You can see that we've not got hardware three because obviously these two cones here, which held up some, some kind of water barrier, uh, weren't, wasn't actually showing. Now, I'm. it might actually, it is, look at this. It's self-driving because of this curb. Now again, there's no one behind us, and we're just gonna do this at 15 miles an hour because some of these corners are crazy and obviously people may be coming around uh, the corner and we'll have to stop, but going nice and slow. At least we'll be able to see what the car does. So it can go down to 10 miles an hour. Let's see if it can do that. Please no one come around. Oh, there is someone coming around the corner. Uh, right, is it gonna do it? Okay, no. At least we know that it wasn't actually going to do the corner uh, and this car's waiting for us anyway. So yeah, that kind of shows uh, where the car is in terms of uh, self-driving on uh, on the on these kind of roads. It's kind of hit and miss. And again, it's got to make those kind of judgments, like can I go yet? Do I have to wait for that car to come? All these kind of things. So I just can't see, I can't see autopilot working down here or like this, for example, that looks like that's in the roads and the car probably would have hit into it. Thank you. 
Now I know that these roads over here yesterday were completely flooded, uh, so badly in fact that I actually saw a car die itself down trying to tackle this road. Have a quick look at my Instagram from yesterday just so you can kind of see what this road they're about to get to looked like. Vera! Ah! <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty bad. Now we've just got kind of puddles on the sides of the roads here, whereas this was across the road previously. Uh, but it is gonna, it's going to get a lot, lot worse as we go down here. But cars are coming down here, so I assume it is all open. You can see all the debris on the roads. This is going to be really interesting to see what the car makes of, uh, of this if it still is underwater. Oh, okay. So the wipers didn't turn on. They, they didn't actually feel like they needed to turn on at all, which was kind of strange. Right, we're going for the bridge. Jesus Christ, car. That was, that was shocking. That was appalling. Yeah, that was, that was actually like bad, bad. Front camera blocked. Okay, interesting. So it's now saying that the front camera's blocked. All right, it's back up again. Yeah, this road was completely underwater. So this is amazing that this now has completely cleared. We're gonna head over to Morton on Lug and, uh, oh, whoa, okay, it's breaking really hard. Whoa, it's coming to a full stop. I think it was because of that tree. I genuinely think it was because of that tree. It was breaking so hard um, and came to a complete stop pretty much, uh, which was quite surprising. Now these obviously are pretty, pretty hard uh, back roads for a car to navigate. Uh, even for a human to navigate, it can be quite hard. So let's see how the car does here right in the middle of the road whoa in fact it actually took us oh so you can see the lines there and it did take us onto the other side of the road okay let's see i'm not sure if it's going to do this again this would have been quite good to see in the model 3 because we would have seen the cones and all of that kind of stuff um but yeah this has taken some real battering this was you know a good couple of meters underwater the other day down here there we go oh shit uh well, how the hell am I doing this? Uh, he thinks that's the best thing to do. I mean, he didn't even say thank you. Again, that's another one of those situations, you know, is a self-driving car ever gonna be able to judge that and go, well, the only way I can do this is to reverse through a red light. Um, oops, I've just put it in neutral, my bad. I'm thinking that I'm in the Model 3. Um, yeah, I had to put it into reverse, go through a red light and then park in uh, the road work area. I just don't think any full self-driving car is gonna think like that. <laughs> okay, these roads are really tight. So I'm just keeping an eye on it. And now it's going into the middle of the road, okay? Which, please don't take the right lane. Look at that, look at that, that is so bad. That's so bad. Come on, take the left lane, dude. That's, it, sh it, should, know, it should know that it needs to take the left. It needs to know that this isn't a, a two-laned road. In fact, it knows that because I can't indicate onto the other side of the road. Whereas if this was two lanes, it would know that I could do that. All right, we're gonna go down this way. Now, I know it says road closed, but as we saw from that last road, you know, I don't know if it is fully closed. So let's go find out. I love going down closed roads, <laughs> roads that are closed. I mean, that sounds really bad, but I mean, in terms of when you know it's probably safe, but you can see this again, this was all underwater. This was all a good couple of feet underwater. Oh, okay. Maybe it is quite bad. Oh wow, look at that. I don't think we're gonna go through that. Is this cyclist going through it? I'm just kind of gonna sit here and watch in case this person like gets hurt or anything. That's pretty risky, isn't it? it says that she's a motorbike coming to us. <laughs> Let's go have a look. <clears throat> look, I mean, she's cycling down, so let's just uh, we, let's just drive down and have a little look, um, and then we can see how bad it kind of gets. If it's too bad, then we'll uh, we'll obviously turn back. I'm just gonna have a look out the door and see how. Yeah, it's it's not up to the door or anything yet, so it's not too bad. But. 
I'm more, if I'm being totally honest, I'm more kind of worried for the cyclist. Nah, that's, that's, that goes all the way over the bridge and everything, doesn't it? Yeah, you know what? That biker looks okay, but I, I ain't risking it. We're going all the way back. This is the best thing about the Tesla though. Like you can pretty much use it as a boat for a little bit. All right, how fast can you reverse in this car? Oh, there you go. That's max speed. That is max speed reverse is 15. All right, let's try that again because this road's closed. So, you know, we can kind of have fun. Uh, ready? I'm going to zero to 15 in reverse. Go. Oh my gosh. Oh, we got up to 17. We got up to 17, but then something happened here. I swear. <laughs> let's do that again. Yeah, look, the sensor's turned off. Ready? Go. Ah, oh, it gets up to 17 and then it, then it kind of stops. And again, the lines disappear, so it's going to throw us into the middle of the road. I'm uh, just going to bring it down as we come up to the lights. And again, look, it really like throws us over to the, the other side of the road, uh, which is just so strange. I'm going to bring it all the way down. Oh, we can actually get through here. And it's still doing this, by the way. I've regulated its speed to five miles an hour, but I'm going to let it do this at like eight miles, maybe 10. Let's go 10. I'm going to let this do this at 10 miles an hour and see what it does here. This is really interesting. Is it going to follow the cones? Because obviously it doesn't show the cones, but clearly it can see them. And will it cut across the line here? Will it cut to the other side of the road? You need to, you need to, you need to do it, Tesla. That's it, that's it. Wow, wow, that actually did that. I mean, granted, you know, it wasn't great. And like now I can't see over the hill, so I need to go over here. But it did do that very slowly. It did it. It's going to be a good test for autopilot. There's a cone in the middle of the road, and I'm just going to put um, my cruise control on, autopilot on. I'm just going to see what would it do to this cone. It... 100% would it hit into that cone. Like 100% it would have hit into that. How did it not see that cone? Like I, I'm, I'm just amazed. I'm absolutely amazed by that. So I'm intrigued to see how the car deals with it this time coming from this way. I'm going to bring it down to 35, 30, I think. We're going to see, oh, again, it goes a little bit, a little bit left there, but it should do this fine. Yeah, it's done that, no problems. I'm not sure why on the other way, uh, on the way here, it just didn't turn. It just almost went straight at the bridge, which was really strange. So this was all closed. You could see there, this was all closed yesterday, but it's all open again now. We're just going to go past the, uh, the road closed, like flood signs for now and just see. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to get down there. I kind of want to just see what's going on though. So <clears throat> I'm just going to go forward a little bit. Wow, that is look at that. Can you look at that? So that that's a that's a rain that's a Range Rover Vogue, one of the old styles. Um and it is completely flooded uh, like underwater. This guy's like, yeah, no, no no one's coming from that way, mate. Yeah, look at that. It is completely flooded. And it got stuck under there. And actually, I remember seeing a photo of this the other day and you couldn't see the top of the car and you can see that there's cars on the other side so yeah we've got to figure a way uh, a way around this we're going to try and cut through here then and go all the way around um the plan was to kind of go all the way around and get back to my back to my house on the other side of town but if i'm being totally honest i don't i don't know if that's um fully going to uh fully going to happen because it looks like a lot of the roads are closed down there um so yeah all these cars are parked on the road that is right this is a two-lane road but that's when people don't have garages, or at least they don't decide to use their garage. They park them on the road. Just doing a little route around the flooded areas now. So I've had to basically come up the hill uh, and go around go around everything to get past. Uh, but these are, these are great fun roads to drive around. Again, I don't know how autopilot or any kind of self-driving car in the future is gonna be able to tackle these kind of roads and whether they're gonna be able to tackle them at all. Um, but. That's something fun for us all to see. Okay, we've got a flood up ahead. Exactly what we've come out for, so that's perfect. Let's have a look at this flood. I assume it actually probably was just here before. Yeah, I think the flood might have just been there, whereas now it, it's all gone. Oh my days. <laughs> Yeah, there was no way <clears throat> that I was gonna squeeze by with uh, with that thing. Yep. 
that, that's that's like the cheekiest way I've ever seen someone overtake before. Okay, now we've got a cyclist. Oh my gosh, this is confusing. Okay, right, now it's my turn. I don't know if you guys could see what was happening there, but we had a huge lorry, and then someone like tried to get past, but then tucked into me and did a cheeky overtake. Now it has got this really interesting little bridge here, and this bridge is insanely tough uh, as, as a bit of road because it's just so tight. So you can see that there's like no leeway from turning and then turning back across. Uh, we're going slightly into the road, and again, look at all of this in front of us, but I'm pretty sure it would have just gone straight through it all. <clears throat> now, is this road closed or is it not? That is the question. We've gone past where it said it was closed, and that was just the traffic. So I'm a little bit intrigued. It might, it's not, it's definitely not. Okay, we've got, we got a person in the road as well. And did it see, again, it didn't show the person on the screen at all. And I've just realized my other GoPro has died. But up ahead, guys, is a huge, huge road close sign. Uh, and it has definitely closed. So I'm gonna have to go back the whole way I just came uh, to, to get home. So yeah, it's not gonna be the most interesting thing. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, driving on AP2 in my Model X through some flooded roads and just kind of seeing what's happened after Storm Dennis. Uh, I'm trying to point the car at a person right now just to see if it will bring her up, but look at that, it's just not bringing her up. Okay, she's crossed the road now. Yeah, it just didn't, it didn't bring her up. There you go, you saw her in the radar for a split second, but it didn't bring the person up. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Until next time, don't forget, drive safe.